As Americans stocked up on essentials for the coronavirus, preparation at camps in two states were already well underway. Nancy Chen introduces us to a survival community designed to withstand just about everything. Colorado and West Virginia. At Fortitude Ranch, with its stockpiled food, semi-automatic weapons, and designated bunkers, it's all about the what-ifs, as seen from the group's introduction video. What would you do? What would I do? What would anybody do if there was a serious viral pandemic? It's a survival community with undisclosed locations in remote Colorado and West Virginia, where members can escape in times of disaster. Retired Air Force Colonel Drew Miller is the company's CEO. He wants to build a total of 12 ranch locations across the country, with the next ones planned for Wisconsin and Nevada. We have a reserve room. Um, it may not be fancy. We have Spartan memberships that are very inexpensive, only about $1,000 per person per year. Each ranch has about 100 members. In good times, they can use the camp's log cabins for vacation, hunting and fishing on the vast properties. But in case of what they deem a disaster, they say they're ready for whatever might happen. There's a lot of other threats we track from, you know, Yellowstone, super volcano going off and, you know, blocking out the sun and having massive crop failure to asteroids. Miller says the biggest threat is a pandemic, but that COVID-19 isn't severe enough to ask members to shelter. If law and order breaks down, then by all means, we will open and ask our members to come. But thus far, our members pretty well understand that they really don't need to be at Fortitude Ranch now. Still, Miller estimates that requests for membership have soared tenfold because of coronavirus. Is this the most interest you've seen in Fortitude Ranch? Oh, absolutely, yes. Kiki Bandela and her husband joined in 2018. When all hell breaks loose and you have to seek shelter, if you will, um, from all the craziness of the world, it's really nice to know in the back of my mind that I have a place to go. Bandela hopes she'll never have to shelter at Fortitude Ranch, but takes comfort in knowing it's there in uncertain times. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York. Fortitude Ranch tracks 46 trigger events that it thinks could result in the sort of collapse that would necessitate seeking shelter there. Well, still ahead at noon, the Mr. Food Test Kitchen brings us a potato recipe perfect for any occasion.